Hey everyone, this is Stephen Strawn at Cast Iron Cookware, where you can find information to help you better collect, restore, and use cast iron cookware. Today we're going to be talking about my collection slash addiction of Canadian cast iron cookware. And we're going to be doing that coming right up. Before we get started, I just want to say thank you to everyone that has purchased my product, Easy Beasy Cast Iron Seasoning. The purchase of this product helps keep this channel going, and, and I just want to say thank you so very much. So let's get on into the video. As you know, I really love cast iron cookware, and have been collecting Birmingham Stove and Range, which is one of my favorite makers. But I have made friends and connections all over the world, and I have a friend that I've made in Canada who contacted me here a while back and said, look, I would like to have a Birmingham stove and range piece, but I just can't seem to find them up here. Would you be willing to do some trading? And I said, sure. So this friend of mine had this nice McClary number nine. He said, if you have a number seven, I'd be glad to send you a number nine McClary. So this was my first piece this number nine McClary, and I really, really like it. Now McClary was founded in 1851, and I don't really know when they ended production, but they are really nice. They are put together well. They have uh, a really good slick surface. The outside is nice and slick. It's not really hard and, and rough on the outside. It has a really, really nice handle. I like the way this handle feels nice and wide something to hold on to and this is the back right here this is what it looks like here again is the back and this is my only mcclary and i really really like it and really thankful that i've made the connection in canada I've got a good friendship and another cast iron connection since that time, this same friend has kind of been watching out for me and, you know, alerting me whenever he sees a piece that I may be interested in. And it's been very, very helpful. He also tipped me off on the, another couple of pieces this guy was selling in Canada. And that is the, I have a Finley. And the handle looks a lot like Griswold, the way it's shaped at the top. A little different on the back. And this is a Finley, Charlton Place, Ontario. This is a number six. Finley was founded in 1862, and I think they went all the way up till 1974. And it is a nice light piece. The surface is really well. Now this in here needs to be redone. I mean, it's still in good shape. I haven't done anything to it. This is the way I purchased it. Here's a look at the back. Also, it is a smooth bottom. It doesn't have a heat ring. The same as it was with the McClary. It did not have a heat ring. So it's probably a newer version. But uh, I really like it. That's the only Finley that I have. Now, some of the Finleys, you'll find them with a ghost mark of a Lister or even Smarts. Because they'll use the mold and butter those over. So ghost marks are really cool. Another one of my Canadian pieces is this GSW. Now, GSW, this is the number nine. GSW is General Steel Wares, and they were founded in 1927, and I'm not really sure when they went out, or even if they have went out. And this piece here has a really nice wooden handle with a nice little taper, similar to a Griswold. You know, really something to hold on to, really nice. And when it comes to seasoning these types of skillets, this will just screw right off. So you don't want to season and bake this, this handle in the oven because you'll eventually ruin it. But you can uh, remove the handle when you're seasoning, put it back on fairly easily. It just screws right in. Then my last Canadian piece is a small number three GSW with a solid handle. And what I've noticed is this GSW handle looks a lot like the Finley. You turn them around. 
Now, General Steel Wires was actually a merger of McClary and five other cast iron foundries all into one company called General Steel Wires. And I believe that took place in 1927. And they may still be rolling, I'm not sure. Uh, if you know, go ahead and add some information to the comments. And if you have cast iron pieces from Canada that I haven't mentioned here, go ahead and mention them in the comments. I'd like to know exactly what you have. There are a few other notable pieces that I don't personally have yet. There's a company called Javelin. I've almost purchased one here and there, but just missed out when it comes to the auctions. But hopefully I'll be getting one soon. There's another company called Lisser, and I think they make some really nice pieces as well. I believe Javelin was founded in 1949 and Lisser was founded in the early 1900s. So I'm not really sure. I don't think there's a lot of information on the Lisser company. So if you have a favorite Canadian piece, leave it in the comments. I'd like to hear what you have. And I hope that you've enjoyed this video. And if you have, please don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell and I promise I'll keep more coming. Check out Cast Iron Cookware on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Check out the Cast Iron Cookware Facebook group. It is really growing full of people who love cast iron, love connecting and sharing. I just want to say thank you again for watching Cast Iron Cookware. Before you go, I just want to share something with you really quickly. In Matthew chapter 13, verse 45 and 46, it says, Again, the kingdom of heaven is likened to a merchant man seeking goodly pearls, who, when he had found one pearl of great price, went and sold all that he had and bought it. I just want to say, share the word and be a blessing.